If I were to fight Jake Paul, I would take it completely seriously like a real fight, and I'd whoop his ass, I'd beat him. I don't think he ever gets into the ring and risks his alpha male appearance to fight me or Logan. Andrew Tate, you're scared to get in the ring with one of us. So we've heard from Tate, we've heard from Jake. Let's see what Logan's got to say. Andrew Tate will not fight Jake. Andrew Tate will not fight myself. That'd be so silly. And if he does, it'd be a money play. He's going to get his ass kicked. So much money. He's going to get his ass kicked, and he's, the top G facade will finally be revealed as bullshit. And then we've seen this happen. And after we seen them square off for the first time, the internet blew up. Everyone was talking about this fight. But why? So we've got Andrew Tidd, who's the most spoke about man in the world right now. He is absolutely everywhere. Then we've got this guy, Jake Paul, who is making massive moves in the boxing scene. And he is one of the most famous people in the world right now as well. Then of course, we've got Logan Paul, who is now doing big things in WWE, but he's also very famous and he is also a fighter. And these boys don't like each other. So I'm I'm going to talk all about this fight and I'm going to give you my opinion at the end of the video who I think would win the four times world kickboxing champion Andrew Tate or the Paul brothers if he fights either of them which I think might surprise you and I've got a lot of experience in boxing I won an Olympic medal and I'm a former undefeated professional and now I do YouTube videos educating people how to get better at boxing so I do know a little bit about this now Logan's reached out to Andrew Tate's agent to ask him for a fight and this is what he said I texted his agent I said dog what's up with your boy he said he fight for free can we make this happen <laughs> call him up called him up Turns out he don't want to fight for free. And Andrew Tate actually did see that because he's so rich. He's like, yeah, I'll fight him for free. But also Andrew Tate's smart. So if he does fight, he'll not be fighting him for free. This was the response I got back. Yo, he said you want to fight him, then WhatsApp him directly. Huh? <laughs> Dummy, I'm trying to fight you, not fucking become your buddy. Now, I believe that because... He said this about Jake Paul before, and I think he was trying to get buddy buddy with Jake. I actually quite like Jake, and I think he trains really hard. Yeah. And I think he's dedicated to the sport, and he's seriously actually a boxer. I don't think he's a YouTuber, I think he's a boxer. Mm -hmm. Logan's still a YouTuber. So he said that, and he said other things similar, like, I really respect Jake. He's putting it out there, he's training like an athlete, which he is, I get, but when there's a fight brewing, you know, you don't really want to see that. So what he's doing there is, taking the pressure off himself. So when this fight does happen, he's already been up and said, well, he is a legit boxer. And I agree with Andrew Tate. Jake Paul is a legit boxer. He's training with the best trainers in the world. He's got unlimited money, so he can have the best training camp possible, which is hard for the average fighter who normally has a full-time job and he's got to train around the work. Jake Paul doesn't need that. He can train with who he wants, when he wants, how he wants. And if you're going to train with like a boxer, and you've got that support system in place, it's the best. So back to Logan and Andrew Tate. I don't like you. I want to fuck you up. Not text you to make a deal on a fight. I don't give a fuck about you, bro. And I really believe this. Logan cannot stand Andrew Tate. So another thing that Andrew Tate has came out and said is Logan Paul's on steroids. He's accused him of that. He said this. The biggest problem with Logan versus me is that I'm a completely clean athlete and he's on a shitload of steroids. So for him to fight me, either I have to go on a shitload of steroids and put, and become a super heavyweight because I'm gen genetically gifted or he has to pass a, a drugs test. So, you know, that's a big allegation there seeing that Logan is taking steroids. Logan is massive. He's shredded. He's in shape. I can see why you would think that, but I've been following Logan since he was on Vine years ago. And he's always been like shredded and in great shape. So I don't believe for one minute that he is taking steroids. And also I'm good friends with Milton, who was Logan's coach. And I just know that they don't play like that. And now what Logan and Jake is keep saying is Andrew Tate, he's got this tough man image. He is a four times world kickboxing champion. Now with kickboxing, I don't know how world titles work. I know in some organizations of different sports, there is tons and tons of different world titles. I remember where I was from, there's guys winning world titles all the time in, kick, in kickboxing. So honestly, I don't know how legit them are. But obviously, Andrew Tate can fight. He is a hard man. He's in great shape. And he's just got that stubbornness about him where I think he's a right hard 
Now I've looked at some of his fights and he can punch hard. He's got good reactions. He's got good footwork. He's got good timing. And he's got experience of getting in there and fighting. Some websites see he had 85 fights. Some see he had a few less, a few more. But he's definitely been in there a lot. But I've seen this one clip of Andrew Tate, which makes me think, oh, this guy can't even box. And it's the funny punches he throws here. So he throws a hook and a lead uppercut, unrealistic, and then this. What was that? That was one of the worst boxing combinations I've ever seen. Watch it again. It was a one, two uppercut. And I'm like, oh my God, there's people there as well. So you're obviously trying to impress when there's people watching and he throws that worst combination I've ever seen. Now, I don't know when this clip is from, but he doesn't look that different to what he looks now. So maybe it was one of his recent shadow boxing rounds. I don't know, but I just seen that clip and I was like, oh my God, can this guy box? After watching that clip, I would say no. But obviously he's had a lot of fights and he knows how to fight, so yeah, he'd be better than that. It must just be a terrible clip. Compared to Jake Paul's, what, six fights now? And as well, if you look at Jake Paul's last three fights, two of them were against Tyron Woodley, who was a 40-year-old, and then his last one was against Anderson Silva, who was a 47-year-old. And Andrew Tate is like, what, 35, 36? So he is younger, but the inactivity of Andrew Tate will play a major part in this. So it seems like Andrew Tate has actually been training. I've just recently come across this video that looks new, and I might be wrong, I might be off the past, but it looks new where he's sparring. And it kind of looks like he's sparring in Thailand, sparring a guy who's a lot shorter than him, not like a, a Paul who's the same size or bigger than him. You see, Tate's like throwing some feints there. Guy doesn't seem to be doing anything leads off with that long lead hook and I've seen a video in the past where Andrew Tate steps in with that long lead hook and it's a good shot. There it's again that long lead hook, he hurts the guy, oh blasts him to the body <laughs> and it's over, it's over. Two, it's kind of three, laughing at him. Four, five, six, seven. Left and right and the guy's continuing for more. So there's no kicks involved right here. Oh, that was nice. Nice. Nice little lean back and then come back with overhand right. Let's watch that again a bit slower. Look at that. Guy throws the jab. Leans back. Boom. Right hand over the top, right in the chin. That was nice. Obviously, the guy's reach is six inches shorter than Andrew Tate's. Uh, and he hasn't got the ability. He's, the guy's laughing. I think these are friends and they're just playing around. Oh, they're going again. They're going again. Another body shot. Yeah, it's hard to judge Andrew Tate from this here because obviously the guy is... No disrespect to the guy, but uh, yeah, he's not much of a fighter at all. I see that big guy wrapping up in the corner there. Maybe he's going to put the clothes on and have a go. Hopefully he does. Let's see. Let's follow the video. 30 seconds, Rizzo. Nah, Tate's just destroying this guy. Maybe he's just doing it for the promo clips, for the views. Oh, again, step back right hand. This is... Now it's hard to judge him like this because Logan Paul and Jake Paul is like night and day better than this guy. And Logan said this. Turns out he wants two warm-up fights. So he wants two warm-up fights before he gets in there with one of them. Understandable, but who is he going to fight? Would he fight some YouTubers for big paydays? Or would he fight... A legit fighter. Well, I would guess he would fight some YouTubers. So there's been enough talking right now. When's this fight going to happen? Well, if it does happen, I think it's going to be early next year. But honestly, Andrew Tate, he's got way too much to lose. He's already really famous, got everything he wants. Why would he fight Jake Paul? So Jake Paul is calling Andrew Tate out in front of everyone all the time. Logan Paul is talking shit about Andrew Tate all the time. Is he going to fold under pressure and be like, all right, let's do it. I'll, I'll smash us up or not. Well, I think he's too smart for that. I don't think he'd fight. But if he decides to, after breaking down all of his fights and seeing his boxing ability compared to the younger guys like Jake Paul or Logan Paul, honestly, I can't see how Andrew Tate would beat them. Jake has been way too active and fighting people who are 10 times better than Andrew Tate's last opponents. Even though Tyron Woodley and Anderson Silva were older, 
They were just they're just night and day better than the guys who I seen Andrew Tate fought. And as for Logan, well, I broke down Andrew Tate's boxing ability on this video right here, and I'll tell you exactly what I think if he fought Logan Paul. Click here and watch this video next.